Okay, here we are. There's uh, two rhinos. The first sighting uh, on our afternoon drive. Uh, this uh, Friday. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. At the age of about 10 years, mm -hmm. 8 to 10 years, they'll they'll years. Mm -hmm. but they'll only be in their prime. Explaining some facts about mm -hmm. rhinoceros. Cool. Correctly, so it changed into white. white. Oh. oh, I see. That's where the white and the black thing started. The black rhino was actually called a hooked lip rhino. Now, white rhinos, the only difference between white and black rhinos is white rhinos eat grass, they've got the wide mouth which is pointing down, so the head is always pointing down, and they're slightly bigger than the black rhino. Black rhinos are slightly smaller, their heads are pointing up, they've got a very small hooked lip mouth. Very, very small. It looks like a parrot's beak, almost. And they born with a bad attitude. They don't oh, them. really? <laughs> well, those are That's the ones. The main oh. <laughs> They're very aggressive with people. Uh, it's one of the only animals out here which is malicious that will actually come off. Oh. Yeah, the white rider is a bit more docile than the left. Oh, really? Do they interbreed? They can. It's never happened in the wild, yeah. but it's the uh, people have gotten it in captivity. Okay. But it's always a black rhino male or a white rhino female, not the other way around, because a white rhino male is too heavy and it's in the end with the female. Oh, oh I see. So a black rhino female is about the size of the biggest one of the two, right? Oh. Mm. Um, average white rhino male weighs about two and a half tons, um. female about 2.3, 2.3 tons. Um, black rhino is about 1.6 to 1.8 tons mm. female. Mm. So there's a, there's a huge size of it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Thank you. So get to her first. <laughs> you only have to be as fast as the slowest running. <laughs> That's why I have the gun. I make sure that the other guy is the slowest. <laughs> Oh, they're going now. Those rhinos are probably so used to cars because they grew up with it from a very yeah. young age. So it's a, a daily thing for them. And a massive sign of relaxation is if the animal starts feeding in front of you. It means it's doing what it will naturally do without you being there. And you can see this is what they're planning to do now. They're smelling around for good grass to feed it. At the moment, there's not much for them no, to eat. No. The massive drought running through South Africa at the moment. The biggest one in 100 years. Are there horns? Do they grow back? They're part of, they're part of the skin, right? Yeah, Are so it doesn't grow out of the skull. It's uh, like a fingernail. It grows yes. through the cartilage on top of the skull. And it grows out of that. So actually, if you grab a rhino, it's connected to the side of the flower. It's made out of character. Why not? You can ride it. Why do you guys think they have two horns, not just one? So the horn grows back. As soon as you cut the horn, it grows back like a but the big reason is, if you look at where the second horn is situated, the 
situated right over the brain. So when the two rhinos fight, it's designed that way so the other rhino can't penetrate the brain. Uh -huh. So it's a defense mechanism, the second mm. It's not really for fighting, it acts more as a shield. Mm. So that's where these poachers get it wrong. When they shoot these animals, yeah. they shoot wrong. They think that the brain is situated higher and then they wound the animals. Uh -huh. Okay. It's amazing how they Yes. It's quite a big animal and it disappears like in a second. How many in this area? Unfortunately, I'm, I'm not allowed to give you any numbers due to the poaching crisis that we sit with in Africa. I won't kill you. To be honest with <laughs> you. <laughs> but there are enough numbers. To be so. honest with you, I don't even know the numbers. Um, the last numbers that we got in South Africa, there was about 16,000 in the whole of South Africa. And about 9,000 of them were in the Kruger Park area alone. Wow. Um, oh. But we don't know. That was six years ago. Uh, I see. So yeah. since the poaching thing started, they don't give out numbers. Yeah. Are they declining? Or they declining, oh. definitely. Mm. So we're losing about so a rhino a day more probably right now. Last year it was pretty bad. We lost about three rhinos a day. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's due to poaching, just because of traditional beliefs around the. Yeah, I am. Server two, Komo channel.